In 2009, the station fire burned a large portion of the Angeles National Forest. I knew there was going to be an invasive plant problem. Everybody did. The first thing I did was, like, almost literally just start <laughs> like having a mental breakdown. It was like, how, how am I going to tackle this? Katie Vinzant is a botanist and invasive species expert. You have to, you kind of come with that crazy passion about something, just like all of us have a passion for one thing or another, and plants happen to be mine. Plant species naturally move and recolonize, but the rate is increasing, especially after large fires. But when it starts doing what we call type conversion, which is conversion from native habitats to completely non-native, that's what we want to avoid. And the thing is, you can't start when it's already type converted. It's too late. Through a partnership with the National Forest Foundation and the Coca-Cola Company, the Angeles National Forest is completing a five-year weed removal project. We've removed 1,600 acres of weeds across the forest. Through supports through Coca-Cola, we've removed over 500 acres, and that equals about 15 miles of stream courses that support a lot of native wildlife and are habitat for different native plants, too. So thank you guys very, very much for coming out to help us pull some weeds. We do this almost on a daily basis. Recently, a group of volunteers from Coca-Cola came up to the Big Tahunga watershed to learn about the project and to lend a hand. See, you can bring government together with businesses and with local communities and make good things happen like this. We're addressing riparian restoration, invasive weed control, reforestation of those upper areas where we had trees lost to uh, engaging the community in that work and making sure they're connected to their forest back again and looking at ways to adapt to climate change as well. We don't have funding on our forest to treat invasive plants, bottom line. So we are totally reliant on outside groups, volunteers, grants. Those partnerships are key for us, absolutely essential. So most of what we're gonna be doing is gonna be hand pulling and then any seeds or flowers, you're going to put that in a garbage bag to prevent the uh, spread of invasives. Why don't we just get a chainsaw and cut this stuff no, down? Yeah. Like if we had, if we were allowed... This is mostly that, educational. Like we can show people a variety of different weeds and it's mostly an introduction. So a lot of educational stuff mostly today. When those plants come in, they outcompete the other vegetation. Water so in this particular case, we want to remove The Angeles National Forest provides about 33% of the water. It supports 13 that, uh, to 14 million people in the Los Angeles County area. And 33% Now you're probably thinking to yourselves, did what I do today really make a difference, right? So this represents a leader. So the work that we've done with the invasives, 2.4 million liters more every year with the work we've done. A lot of times it's the little things. It is surprising for a lot of people that you think Southern California, LA and urban and concrete. And then when you come up here and you start walking and seeing how beautiful it is back here, then you start to have this appreciation that other people may not have. This mountain range in particular, the San Gabriel mountain range, has over 2,000 different plant species and hundreds of wildlife species. It's what we call a biodiversity hotspot. So we have one of the highest biodiversities in the continental U.S. It all comes down to that satisfaction of at the end of the day you feel like I made a difference here. It looks, the landscape looks better to me. Partnerships, including those with the Coca-Cola Company and the National Forest Foundation, are increasingly critical to the Forest Service and our restoration activities across the state. 